Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to ask the question, is Battlefield 1 a good casual game? And I think this is a very important question to Battlefield 1, because I've played a lot of Battlefield 1, and I have noticed that you can play it well, or you can play it bad. There's, there's actually a bigger skill gap, in my opinion, in Battlefield 1 than there is in um, Call of Duty World War 2. There actually is, I think, in my opinion. So we're going to just look at the game, you know, what what does it do to make it casual or not casual? The biggest thing that may detract or add to your experience of Battlefield 1 is it has very long games. Even the small team type games are very, very long sometimes. Rush, for example, can last a long time. Domination, which is, you know, very confined, still can last like 15 minutes. And so, you know, Conquest is a half hour to 45 minutes, you know. So, overall, a lot of, you know, there's different time frames. But generally speaking, you're going to have longer games. So, if you don't like to play longer games, not a very good game for you in general, right? But Battlefield 1 is known for having massive battles going on at one time, right? There's actually points when you're playing Battlefield 1 where... If you play, you know, the match and try to do something, you can only experience maybe half the map at one time. In an entire 30 minute period, experience half the map, you know? It's it's possible in Battlefield 1 to do that. But I think the biggest addition, or not the biggest addition, the biggest reason why this would be a good casual game is it is very easy to pick up and understand how the weapons work. You know, most of the starting weapons they don't do a lot of damage, but they're generally easy to use. Even the sniper rifles are easier to use um, in this game. The SMGs, you know, the rifles, and even the LMGs are really easy to use and easy to understand. And they're very balanced. You don't have to think about stuff when you're using them. You know, the MP18 is, I consider it, my favorite submachine gun in that game. Because it's easier to understand, you know? You don't have to think about it when you're using it. The C Rigotti. The Medic Rifle, considered one of the easiest weapons to use in that game, by the way, the C-Rigati. So, you have a lot of options for easy-to-use weapons. There are some hard-to-use weapons, but if you use the easy-to-use weapons, the harder-to-use weapons, you know, they're easier to understand. Now, even though there is a bigger skill gap in Battlefield 1 than Call of Duty, you don't find a lot of people anymore that really try to get to the other end of that skill gap and be a good player. For me, I played a lot of Battlefield 1, so I just know about, you know, how to dive behind cover, how to move fast, all that stuff. I know how to do that. A lot of people don't, so you're very evenly matched a lot of the times, and the skill-based matchmaking is actually very good. Sometimes, though, they put the noobs with the pros, and they put you against a bunch of noobs and pros. So, your gameplay is kinda, I would say... Mixed results of balancing, but still not quite there. Not, not, not quite there in terms of perfect balancing, but generally speaking, very good balancing. One of the things that's very easy to understand and actually very good for casual players is land vehicle combat and even air combat. Airplane combat is actually something I never have done airplane combat in any video game. Um, and I picked it up and I learned it really fast and yeah, there are ways to You know dodge other people in airplanes and stuff like that But the airplane combat is generally very easy very fluid You know it makes a lot of sense and you can use human intuition to figure out how to fly an airplane like that So it's very easy same with the land vehicles You know, the land vehicles the different weapons you have available in them all easy to understand things that I think add to the experience because the last thing you want to do, and this was a problem in Battlefield games with helicopters, is get into a vehicle and not know how to use it. And Battlefield 1 fixes that problem by streamlining, you know, how the airplanes work and how the, um, how the tanks work. And the airplanes, it's just cool to see what you can do with the airplanes. It's, it's really fun. Overall, selecting classes and different types of vehicles is very complicated. Um, there's a lot. Of different guns in this game there's so many not different guns it's different variants of guns that do slightly different things you know this gun has a bayonet on it this gun has a foregrip this gun has a sight this gun's got a bipod this gun has a scope this vehicle 
has a cannon, but this one has a gun on it. This one has a flamethrower and a gun, you know. This airplane has flares. This airplane has an anti-tank gun on it. You know, what the heck? There's a lot to, um, There's a lot to learn, and I say you're, if you're a casual gamer, don't try to learn everything. You know, stick to the basics. Maybe just find one version of a tank that you really like or one version of a gun that you really like. You know, that's really how I started playing this game because I didn't have a lot of time when I was playing this game. So what I did was I just found one version of every gun that I liked and, you know, slowly learned the other guns. Because, you know, skill level wise, I, 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 find I was pretty good at Battlefield 1 because it flows a lot like Battlefield 4. Something that you should stay away from though if you're a casual gamer is anything involving sniping. Sniping in this game is absolutely hard to do in this game. Now, iron sights, iron sight, bolt action weapons, stuff like that, those are a bit easier to use, but actual sniping and stuff, no, don't, don't try to snipe. Okay, don't, don't try to snipe. Stay away from sniping. Stay away from long range combat in general, if you're a casual gamer. Not okay. All right, but that is it. The final verdict is that. Battlefield 1 is a great casual game, very easy to learn, very easy to pick up, and provides enough skill gap to where after a few weeks of playing it, you know, even at three hours um, a week, you know, if you got job and kids and stuff like that, it's very easy to pick up, very easy to understand, and very easy to do good. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more content related to casual gaming, because I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog, whatever I decide to make.